Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome to Gaming News. Um, basically a poor excuse for me to do a small vlog instead of doing an episode of Isaac. Or something else. Um, yeah, it, it is getting late tonight. Um, I'm recording this day before it goes up because I have not had a chance to record ahead of time. Um, so, and I'm really tired, so I'm not going to create a an Isaac video. I thought I'd create a quick news video, which I wanted to do anyway because there's been some interesting stuff. At least two things that I'd like to talk about, and I have a little like pimple there, it's really weird. But, two things I want to talk about is, first of all, Mirror's Edge 2 Mass Effect 4 to be released 2016 according to a new a report coming out um, about EA's financial year and what they're going to plan for. Um, good. That's good to hear. Um, Matt, the real thing is for me, for me is Mirror's Edge 2. Mirror's Edge 2, um, made by DICE. Uh, I'm not sure if it's DICE LA or DICE DICE that are making it, but I should look that up actually. Let's have a, let's have a quick look. Mirror's Edge 2. Who makes it? Is it DICE or DICE DICE? Because, you know, there's a difference in DICE and DICE DICE. Um, anyway, so basically with Mirror's Edge 2, which just says DICE. So, okay, not DICE LA, LA, I don't think. But if it is that, that, um, that developer, I'm pretty sure they're making the new Battlefield, which would probably come out. Oh, so they're so the Battlefield. They're making Battlefront, um, which will come out later this year. So if they're making Battlefront and Mirror's Edge 2, I'm wondering how much they're putting towards each game. Um, they usually will only do the one game every two years. So they're putting two games up in these next year and a half. Um, it's good to know that Mirror's Edge 2 is going to be 16, not 2015. As much as I would love the game, um, I don't think it would be wise if you've got. Um, Dice LA, who just finished up doing Hardline, which just came out, um, and you've got Dice, who are finishing up on Battlefront, which is hugely anticipated, and something that I think a lot of people are really going to want to have do really well, and if it doesn't, there's going to be a lot of repercussions, I think, on EA and Dice, if they don't do it, and I think that's why, why as well, Mirrors of the Two needs to have that time afterwards, just to be done properly um, at the end of, of, of it all. Um, and I mean, I'm looking forward to it. It should be quite, quite cool. And I, yeah, I'm happy to see that. Sad in a way, but yeah, April 2016 as an estimate of where it could be released. Um, it was re it was announced last year at E3 or no year before at E3, I think. Year before? I don't know, remember. Everyone, I think it was last year. It was when everyone was like, "Oh, hey, EA, eh, uh, eh, uh, oh my God, Mirror's Edge 2 Battlefront. I love EA now. They're the best developers in the world." Um, or well, not developers, produce, um, publishers. They're the best. That's basically what everyone did. They was they had this huge flip, like and it's like, oh, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. Oh, I love them. And then uh, after E three was finished, I hate them again. Um, and now um, Ubisoft is that new hate. But anyway, I'm getting off the track here. That I wanted to do. This is a, this is a quick video, quick video. Um, anyway, so Mirror's Edge two two come out next year, not this year. Good thing, I, in my opinion, to see it get a little bit of polished time. Um, and Mass Effect 4, couldn't give a fuck about um, at all. I've not played Mass Effect 1, 2, or 3, so I really should. I know they're good games. It's not. I'm not dissing them and saying, oh, they're terrible. No, I think they're probably really good. Um, I just haven't played them or, at all. Um, and probably never will, to be honest. It's one of those things. I don't know. We'll see. But I don't really care about Mass Effect 4, so... Next thing is Five Nights at Freddy's movie announced. What? Like, I, I... I just... It blows my mind that this game, which came out... Not even a year ago, has, within a year, had three games and a movie announced. Within a year. Now, granted, horror movies are generally terrible and very poorly done and low budget, so I can probably see the Five Nights at Freddy's movie will be along that line. Um, how do you do it? You can make it really easy, you can make it very creepy using the dolls, obviously you can have someone walking around. Do they do a whole night shift kind of thing? I don't know. Do they go for something else? It's up to them, but it's something I think that could be interesting, it could be done well, and really it could be a very good franchise in terms of, of a movie horror franchise. I mean, if you've got Five Nights at Freddy's and you have, you know, uh, a whole thing where you can have, you know, someone goes in and the next person goes in a couple of years later, or you've got um, Five Nights at Freddy's as, you know, an, an old warehouse or something, and then 
It's you've got um, some group of teens who go there just to spend a night at five nights at you know at Freddy's mansion or whatever it is, and you go there and some of these teens who are just like, oh my god, there's like this thing that's trying to kill me. And like you can see, it'd be like, you know what you could do? You could do it like, I guess in in the way that the game's done, you can do it like Paranormal Activity. I've never seen Paranormal Activity. I don't watch horror movies, but I know how they're done in that way, some of them. Anyway, Paranormal Activity have that kind of um, cam or Blair Witch Project, you have that kind of cam kind of thing. So they could do it that way, which would be interesting, but definitely something that they can make a whole thing of. Um, as much as I've just, I do put my, my hands on my face and face palm the idea of that this, this game has produced two sequels and a movie in a year, uh, an announced movie in a year. A, a good on them, good luck. Um, it's it's awesome to see that a, an indie game has done so well. I like I said I don't I don't agree with the two sequels. I think you should definitely wait, um, or at least if you're going to do a second one straight away and want to improve on it, you know, make the second one and third one as one thing. Make them make them bigger. Don't make two of them three. I mean, I just don't think that's that's worthwhile for anyone. Um, no one likes looking at a game going number three. Like, I, what about number one, number two? You know, I, 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 I don't know. I personally don't like looking at that. And you go, is there already a third one? Like, to me, the quality just doesn't seem there. And I've heard they're good things, but to me, when I look at number three come out six months after the the first one, that's not good quality games. Um, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, the movie's announced, and it should be very interesting to see if they make it into a franchise. If they move well. Um, I don't know if they will. It's very low chance. I think that they will. It is picked up by Warner Brothers, which is a big time thing. So maybe, maybe it does really well. Maybe they they make a lot of money, and it's um, it's gonna be. I think Freddy's is gonna be um, in our mind for for at least ten years. Um, it's not gonna stop. I think we're gonna get movies. I think we'll get a franchise of movies, at least two or three, um, before they go to like really shitty horror movies and you're gonna get more games um because i think it's, it's definitely a game you could adapt to a movie and it, you don't have to do anything about the game you just put some creepy dolls there but creepy bears you're good but that's the two things i want to talk about guys they're they're the they're the massive news i i i felt in the last couple of days that were really interesting especially except the, the mirror's edge 2 one is pretty big for me I loved Mirror's Edge 1. I never finished it, but I loved what I played with it. It was so fun, um, and just so unique, and I can't wait to see what they do in number two. Um, and yeah, Friday Night's Freddy's just made me go, what? So I want to talk about that too. But thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see you tonight for a stream, um, and I think I'm streaming tomorrow as well. So there'll be two streams this week, which would be awesome. I can't wait to do them. Um, so prepare for that tonight. I don't know what time I'll start. Well, I don't know, but I've got the house myself the whole night, so who knows? Um, but we will get that done, and yeah, I'll put more Isaac up as well over the weekend. So look forward to that. Um, and I might do something else. I haven't planned ahead yet on what I'm gonna do with my YouTube videos in the next couple of days, but we'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later.